Hi, today I will present you my project Research and Implementation of Tax Mining. Let's begin. The current situation is in the real world, most information is stored in the form of tax files in the database, which is consists of huge amount of documents of a, a variety of data sources, such as news documents, research papers, books, digital libraries, and web pages. Due to the rapid growth in text information of electronic form, text mining has become a hot research field in information science. Data stored in a database may be highly unconstructed, such as web pages, which has some negative characteristics such as redundancy, form diversity, messy structure, and dynamic varieties. To get a better sense of what people are looking at, discovery potential knowledge on text-based database requires a process of extracting meaningful and interesting patterns from millions of un unstructured files. Text mining refers to the process of deriving high-quality information from unstructured text. It usually involves the process of structuring the input text, deriving patterns within the structured data, and finally evaluation and interpretation of the output. There are three main approaches of this topic. First, categorization. Categorization is based on the set of input and output, and it is supervised method. In order to classify the file, input and output examples are acquired to train the learning model. The main objective is to train a classifier depending on existing examples, and afterwards unknown examples would be characterized automatically. Second is clustering. It is a technique used to group similar files, but it differs from categorization. Through this approach, files are clustered without the use of predefined topics. This is an unsupervised approach in which no input patterns are predefined. This method is based on the concept of dividing similar text into same cluster. Each cluster consists of numbers of documents. The third is visualization. Visual text mining or information visualization puts large textual sources in a visual hierarchy or map and it provides browsing capabilities in addition to simple searching. This method provides better and faster understandable information which help us to discover the potential knowledge in a large document collection. Here, I provide a general text mining framework. During the enhanced information retrieval, which is stage one, keyword researches, keyword searches retrieve potentially relevant web files or documents. The words of the document and associated metadata are then processed in th stage two, using, for example, lexical analysis assisted by domain-specific keyword dictionaries into a form that allows a computer to extract structured data from the original unstructured text. Useful information can then be extracted from the document in stage 3. The identified information can then be mined to, disco to discover new knowledge, meaningful and interesting patterns across the retrieved documents in stage 4 which would be difficult, if possible, to identify without the aid of computers. From the picture below, we can see that we will have access to various collections of text files. Information retrieval tools can be applied to the chosen source collections to identify relevant files to discover further information. However, before further electronic analysis can begin, the documents to be mined must be normalized, which is to say, all converted into a similar format to aid processing. The first model I acquire is a vector space model. The vector space information retrieval model applies high dimension vectors to represent documents in a database. A single document refers to one column vector. Each component of the vector contains information on a particular keyword or term associated with a document. One way the value of the keyword is stored is by the frequency of the word. 
For example, the number of times a keyword appears in a document can be the value of the term in the document vector. In a vector space model, queries are made to the database by using a query vector. The term which one wants to retrieve documents on will have higher values in this query vector. Documents are then returned from the database according to how geometrically close they are to the query vector. This can be accomplished in many ways. One of them is a cosine. The cosine between the query vector and every document is taken during the querying process by the following form formula. The second model I implement is Naive Bayes model. A Naive Bayes classifier is a supervised probabilistic classifier based on applying Bayes theorem with strong independence assumptions. It assumes that each of these features to contribute independently to the category that it belongs to. There are four phases to implement this model. The first is pre-processing. It is common to find that some of the attributes are useless, thus stop word removing algorithm has been applied. A set of stop word has been set by human beforehand. Then the model can simply match the attributes with those predefined stop words. Afterwards, missing data should be avoided and hence assign a suitable value to it. Since data mining cannot run under circumstances of missing data. Thirdly, since some words carry similar meanings but in different grammatically form, such as tree and trees. Therefore, it is needed to comprehensively combine them into one same attribute. In this way, the document can display viewers a better representation of these terms and even the data set can be reduced for achieving faster processing time. Phase 2 is feature selection. One of the most crucial preprocessing steps in text mining, even in data mining field, is feature selection. It is an effective technique to reduce dimension in order to remove noise feature and simplify computation. Thus, the attribute factors can be reduced in number by which the most significant and useful ones are kept, and the, and the irrelevant or redundant ones are removed and deleted. Phase 3, we adopt, we adopt the document classifier naive Bayes. After previous phases, the number of attributes will be reduced to a great extent and are more precise in constructing the classifier. For the classification phase, Naive Bayes model is used to build classifier due to its simplicity and good performance in document and text classification. With the supervised learning, Naive Bayes can recognize the pattern through the process of examining a set of training documents that have been well categorized and then perform comparison with regard to the contents in all categories by building a list of words as well as their occurrence frequency. Thus, such list of words frequency can be used to classify the new testing documents to their correct categories according to the highest posterior probability. Phase 4 is the model evaluation. To test and evaluate a model, comparing the actual class of instance with a predicted one. And the system performance can be measured in terms of recall and precision. This can be mathematically defined. Then, I apply this algorithm in Chinese text file mining. In addition to do the pre-processing required as previously described, I need to split words in Chinese sentence, which is proved to be more challenging than English, which words are split using space. And in this project, I, I imported two Java packages, which is JE analysis, which help split words, and a Lucene core, which helps to calculate the similarity between words. And on the left side, on the right side, we can, I, we can see the Java libraries, which contains the Java files and these two packages and the training set in the a, in a same folder. 
The training set is consists of ten categories, which are automobile, culture, economy, education, healthy, IT, military, uh, recruitment, sport, and travel. And each category contains ten Chinese text files. As we can see from the word clouds, there are a large amount of words in the documents. Thus, when we capture the keywords from these text files, hundreds of terms are found in each category. However, some of them are useless and not interesting to classification consequences. It is therefore important to get a good sense of, of them and discover which features are useful and critical. Here is a correct classification example. We can see from our eyes that this paragraph describes a car which, which is new to the market. And from the analysis that the posterior probability of the category automobile is the highest, so it is defined to that it belongs to the automobile. It is correct. My training set contains 10 categories, 100 text files, and in total to train the naive base model. So I randomly chosen 90% of the training set while testing was carried out by selecting the left 10% files from the training set plus randomly chosen 20 text files from sina.com.cm, which are in the same domain of the 10 categories. This program achieves that it can summarize and classify correctly with an accuracy of more than 90% of test testing text files. The accuracy is acceptable, however, the amount is so small and that need to be improved in order to automatically fetch text from web page to better the model and increase the accuracy. The comparison was conducted by researcher of paper. Is naive base a good classifier for document classification? As we can see from the table, naive base classifier is proven to be the best document classifier. And through the implementation of different feature selection and classifier available, naive base achieves the best accuracy, which is 97%, and the time is the fastest, only need. 0.19 seconds. Concerning numerous searching and selection techniques are available, it is encouraged to apply all these techniques available and hence select the best one for pre-process the data as well as to build a model. Furthermore, the performance of mining consequences is directly affected by the quality of data. So pre-processing phase is inf important to make the data be more precise so as to achieve a better class classification result and even improve the time used to train and generate the model. So that's all for my project. Thanks for watching.